you, Christy. Thanks. We're joined right now by Dr. Cedric McFadden, our 7 News Medical Consultant. We're going to focus in today on brain care score. So, Dr. C, what is a brain care score and why is it important? All right, so the brain care score, this is a term we're likely going to start hearing a lot about. This is a new 21-point scoring system that gives you your risk of developing dementia or having a stroke in your lifetime. Now, this is a product of Mass General in Boston that gives you an under uh, understanding of how you might fare in life. Now, what they found is that the higher your brain, scare, brain care score is, the lower your risk of developing dementia or having a stroke throughout your life. So this is a tool that you'll share with your doctor that can help you make some changes that can hopefully improve your health and certainly your brain health. All right, so what are the components of the score? How do they make it up? Well, there's several different components of it. And it takes into account your lifestyle, your physical, your social, or your uh, emotional components of your health. And particularly, it asks questions about your health your weight, your blood pressure, your history with diabetes, your cholesterol. It also includes information about exercise, nutrition, how well you sleep, and how well you interact with others. And it takes all of these components together and gives you a score. The highest you can get is a 21. And again, the higher your score, the lower the risk is of having dementia or developing or having a stroke later in life. And just to reassure you, if you do go online and take the test, and the link is on WSPA.com, so you can do that in links we mentioned, it doesn't take that long, right? I mean, we did it in, in a short amount of a time, even minutes, though it's getting all that minutes. info. Yeah, a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all, and it's readily available. And, you know, I think we'll start seeing this conversation, certainly with ourselves, with our doctors, and really becoming a number that we'll talk about, like we would our cholesterol or our blood pressure, and how we can have better health and move forward in hopefully decreasing our risk of dementia and things like strokes. And so who is most likely to benefit from knowing this information? Well, according to the authors from the study, in the U.S., one in seven people will have dementia, all right? And every four minutes, someone will die from a stroke. Particularly if you're over 40 and you have a family history of dementia, this is a conversation you need to have with your doctor. Your doctor may not even know about the score, actually, because the study just came out last week. But this is information that you can bring to your doctor that you can have conversations about where there are areas that I can modify to improve and to decrease the risk that I'm going to have these problems later in life. All right, well, you're an 18, I'm a 14. I have some work to do. You're well, doing pretty good. Yeah, but you can modify that, right? Yeah. So take it again in six months, make some changes, and see what happens. All right, we will. Dr. Yeah. C, thank you. Thank you.